Grand Rising, my friends. Hey, wondering where I was at? Took a day off. I'm going to try that every now and then, you know. I'm fine with mostly every day. Let's just keep it mostly every day, but every day. Even though I was like, yeah, I could, but I was like, nah, let's let's go with the, let's start to lower expectations as soon as possible. <laughs> um, but if you were expecting me, hey, sorry, missed you too. Welcome. If you knew, hey, y'all. Uh, where we're at, let's look at the crypto market. It's going to be. A little bit behind because I still am filming this on the day before, but confusion, confusion. Bitcoin, let me refresh to make sure where we're at. Bitcoins, still above 50,000, 50,179,066 cents. Ethereum, button its head against that 4,000, that 4K. It's still it's freighted at that high definition, but we'll discuss how it's going to blow past that soon. $3,905. Cardano, $2.86. Binance came down somewhat. $495.94. XRP seemed to be doing a little bit better since yesterday. $1.29. Dogecoin at $0.30. Cents. Solana is... It's been doing well. It was down a little bit today. $135.55. Polka dot $33. Uniswap $28.92. Litecoin continues to do well. $225.83. Chain link doing well overnight. $31.58. I see on um Exodus now they've added Filecoin, Pancake Swap, Engine Coin. So Filecoin at $114.80. Let's see, we see Pancake at $23.97. Axie Infinity down a little bit overnight, $82.31. Tezos up a little bit since yet, no, down $5.37. Let me see. Cosmos is doing okay. $24.71. Algorand was doing better, I saw, overnight. $1.28. So also one of the coins that is on Coinbase, you can, by holding it, you gain not money. You gain a percentage of that coin. So if you had, like Cardano, no, was it Cosmos on Exodus? is like around 9%. So if you had 100 of them, in a year, you have 110 of them, Cosmos. So we have a lot to get into. So let me just go ahead and pick up the pace as is. Because here, you know about that positivity. And if on a Labor Day in the past, someone saved you a plate of food at the cookout or, you know, called you over and made sure you had... What you like, you know, is it, you like chicken, you like, you like beef ribs, what is it, oh, you like, you like your salmon grilled, or, oh, vegetables, like, yeah, I could put all the vegetables in that, whatever that was, that person that made you feel special, that you admire, reach out to them and say, hey, I'm going to forward this video to you that I went down in the comment sections and wrote something nice about you to to let you know how much I appreciate you on this Labor Day 2021. Do that for your people. Do that. Into the stories. Elon Musk said Tesla is worth $3,000 a share if they ex execute really well. Elon Musk told employees that he agrees with ARK Invest. Now, we haven't talked much about ARK Invest, and I'm really a big fan of Kathy Wood and well, I'm not a fan. I'm going to say a fan. I, I admire what she does. I'm watching and trying to steal ideas. So imitation is a serious form of flattery, you say. So I guess you could say. Uh, ARK Invest is a investment group. I don't know. What do you call it? That has its own ETFs. 
has like five or six ETFs now and six, I think, or more, even even more. Uh, they have like uh, different ones. We'll discuss it. We'll do a deep dive of ARK Invest at some point. And it really looks into what I'm interested in, innovation and understanding how these intersecting lines of exponential innovation is, uh, innovation is going to change the way this world is. And from a financial standpoint, you be it doesn't make sense not to get ahead of that wave financially knowing the companies that are going to build off each other, like Palantir is investing in air taxi companies and robotic companies because they understand that their big data will help these companies to f further fill out their plans in how they need to operate. But so some employees, he agrees with ARK Invest that Tesla is worth 3000 a share if they execute really well. The CEO has often commented on Tesla's stock price, but surprisingly, it was often to say that the price was too high. Blah, blah, blah. Wall Street firms are dividing whether the company is overvalued, but few of them believe that Tesla could be worth a lot more. ARK Invest is one of them. So they believe that ARK Invest believes that Tesla will be worth today. Uh, Tesla is at this little stock quote. Tesla is at $733. So they believe that by 2025, that that price will be $3,000, which will give Tesla a $3 trillion market capitalization, about a $3 trillion market capitalization. And they're like, oh, it would be a highest in the... And see, when they write this, it is... It's disingenuous. So whenever sometimes I just skim through something real fast and just sum it up, because... Here they'll say, here, da, 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 let me find it. Um, if it, it should be worth $3 trillion within the next four years. To be fair, um, but then he was just saying, well, that would make the most expensive country. Oh, a $3,000 share price will put Tesla's valuation at $3 trillion and make it the most valuable company in the world. Yeah, if we just automatically did that today. You saw, you know, we looked at Apple is worth... Um, Two point five, uh, two point two and a half trillion now. So imagine where it'll be at in three years. That may be five trillion. Well, you, if Tesla is going to go up to three, Apple, Apple is not going to do anything. Uh, Amazon and and Alphabet are not going to do anything. No. So it's disingenuous to say stuff like that. Like, oh, it'll be the most valuable company in the world. Yeah, if you just said today it became a $3 trillion company, then yes, 100%. It would technically be the most valuable company in the world. Is it or does it? That's two different stories. But don't be disingenuous. So Tesla, remember, and this is a lot we're going to say today. So let me get this out the way now. And I'm going to say this about two or three times today because it's one of those. This is not... Medical advice, financial advice, advice about what clothes you should wear today, not advice about do your hair look nice in that. This is nothing. This is just me talking about what I'm doing later on. And you can do what it is you will. Do not blame me for nothing. Let's go. Let's go. But Tesla, so if Tesla's probably going to at least 4X from here, go to 3000 a share, I, if you mind my money 4X in, in, in 40 years from now, that's not bad. That's not a bad thing for your boy. Slow and steady. Everybody all greedy. I want, I want 100X by the end. Hey, who, I want a billion X. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I, what I want versus reality is two different things. So something to think about. Especially they're talking about the autonomous ride sharing, the just the market domination of EV as selling vehicles, the software service. There's a lot of revenue streams, let alone the god dang robots that's coming. Speaking of which, mysteries, wah. mystery flying wing aircraft photographed over the Philippines. And this is the photograph. If you're looking at the screen now, it looks almost like a delta shape. Kind of like a B-2, but more. Now, could it be the new B-221 Raider? They don't, they don't speculate about that in their article. But 
we'll get jumped jump right to it. They think it is the a either the United States has a drone called the RQ 180, and we could probably really quickly just look that up. R Q 180. Let me get an image of it quick. The image from similar to this image was a, a photograph. This was from about a year ago. Yeah, taken above California. It was a plane flying, and they said in a racetrack pattern. They think it's the RQ-180, which is a drone that we have. But then also a speculation, could China, they're building similar drones. See, these shapes are very common because that's what are used to evade radar. You could say is stolen from us. I don't know if that's fair to say or not. But so... What is it? We we don't know. Could it be China's new H2 stealth bomber? It's a lot of things it could be. We were recently had a um the first the United States, UK, India, Japan, and Australia just held one of their biggest joint exercises ever in the Philippine Sea. This would have been of the very most utmost interest to China. So could they have been sending one of their new drones over to to, to take a look? This is the Pattern of the Indian Navy, uh, uh, one of their electronic warfare planes. I'm guessing by P80, P8 status. Not 100 percent on that about the Indian plane, <clears throat> but I know we have some similar, either submarine hunters or electronic warfare plane. But it is just very interesting to see <clears throat> that there are still a lot of mysteries in the skies. Not gonna stay too much longer on this. It was just thought it was dope. So this is a very good picture of something that's flying that we're not hundred percent sure of. And I think this looks, you know, close. Looks similar to to me. But what am I gonna say? Bitcoin fraud cost me five hundred thousand pounds, euros, pounds. I think it was a pounds. I have to look that that, that symbol up. <laughs> This gentleman is a 44-year-old graduate who runs his own successful home cinema business in England. After a lifetime of hard work, regular savings, and investments, he had nearly saved half a million pounds in Bitcoin. Then this summer, he was targeted by online fraudsters who stole everything. He Well, targeted, mm, you'll see. He went to say how, you know, look... <clears throat> His life was wrecked. He studied engineering and got his master's in computer science, been running his own business. And how did this happen to him? Right. He was in the, he was a victim of a type of fraud known as an investment scam is when victims are conned into handing over money to people offering fake, but often very convincing investments with the promises of big returns. What do I always say? which is slow and steady win the race. Please do not fall for these get rich quick or, hey, get with us and we're going to turn you into a millionaire beyond your wildest dreams. No, 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 no. And, and it may not even be that <clears throat> blatant. It may be more in, in, insidious of, Oh, this is an IRA that uh, a special IRA with tax shelters that will help you advance your growth. Slow and steady win the race. Just do the normal things. Um, you're going to see spurts and growth. And, and, and if you're just consistent with it, you know, and, and, and not and, and show a little patience in, in a shorter time span than you imagine, you will see growth that you couldn't imagine. So you don't need to do this. And this is what this look we're here and look, but you here now doing what I'm about to read. So what's up? 
I was watching YouTube. Now I'm going to do funny voices for this guy because, you know, it's the complaining about after the fact that gave me a little bit. I was watching videos on YouTube, saw an advert offering the chance to invest in stocks and shares and field an informed request and more information. The next day, I got a call from someone who caught themselves a customer service agent that paid a pound two fifty to start trading. The day after I called again, it time somebody who described themselves as my account manager and gave me a username and password for an extremely convincing trading website. So, watch us on my YouTube. You know, <clears throat> if you you know in other people's videos, I'm sure you guys get inundated with advertisements, fake scammers, especially if you're watching any finance videos, fake. You know, looking like the name of the person. Join this Telegram group. I will never ever ask you to join anything. If I do, you will hear me say it like this, or someday I got blah blah blah, and that's the one thing. But anything down in the comment section is never ever me. Anytime you see that on one of my videos, I was like, I tell my wife, I was joking, saying, look, I made it. I got the, the bots are, are faking in the video talking about, hey, this person helped me. Oh, you know them? They helped me, too. For real? Y'all all know them? Those are all uh, bots. Don't ever fall for that garbage. This dude watching on YouTube saw the advertisement offering a chance to invest in stocks and shares and filled in a form. Then they start taking money from him. He gave them 1800 18,000 sterling and 14.25 Bitcoin. You know. <clears throat> so, it's, and, it, and it's going to probably, he's not going to get his money back. And now he's here talking about he's struggling with mental health issues and such. Yeah, you can't be greedy. And then you can't go cry, but once you get caught, that's the whole thing. I mean, that, you know, that's my part of it. It's like, look, if you're going to think, hey, I'm about to do all this, be prepared to lose everything. And when you do, you can't, don't start going to cry everybody because, hey, oh, I, I, I thought I was going to give more than everybody else. And then when I got suckered, it's not fair. You can't, if you're going to take those risks, and you can take whatever risk you want in this world. That's life, baby. Don't come crying, though. No. Nobody want to hear that garbage afterwards. It is what it is. Accept your faith. Let's move on to how we about to make some money. Because, look, things is popping. I'm about to point out some things, tell you what I'm about to do today, and then see where you at with yours. All right? Seven hottest NFT trends happening right now. Apes, punks, and rocks. Oh, my. Digital collectibles are back in the spotlights in a big way. Here's why. So it's just talking about how NFTs are having a resurgence. There was a bit of a drop off second quarter, which is, you know, I'm going to say from March into June, a little bit July-ish. You saw the NFT market going down. Everybody's like, oh, it's crashing. It's crashing. Learn to ignore all that garbage. Everything will go up eventually unless the world ends. Then guess what? You ain't worried about none of this stuff anyway. After generating over $2.5 in sales in the first half of 2021, sales volumes for these blockchain-based digital deeds of ownership dropped off a cliff. Everybody was crying about it. Fast forward a few weeks, and NFTs are back with a plethora, a plethora, plethora, plethora of new projects and trends grabbing headlines. <clears throat> what are some of the biggest ones? Here, NFT enthusiasts might point to CryptoPunks as the marquee NFT brands. And we'll come to that in a second. To my guy who been wondering about cryptos. We'll get to it in a second, baby. CryptoPunks, we'll get to it in a second, baby boy. But fashion is nothing if not fickle. And earlier this month, a new contender to the NFT crown emerged. The NFT world has gone gaga for Bored Ape Yacht Club, a series of NFTs depicting apes, bored ones, in various facial expressions. They're selling for serious cash to a single board ape NFT sold for 2.25 million worth of ETH. Probably more now because that was last week's ETH amount. A lot of more than 100 board ape NFTs are currently up for auction at Sotheby's with an estimated haul up to 18 million. Woof. So ape owners make their ape their Twitter profile, so it's a status symbol, but they also get a bunch of perks with their ownership, access to a Discord chat for other owners, access to owner-only merchandise drops, and free additional NFTs like Mutant Apes and Board Ape Kennel Club. It's all about the community, right? 
the ancient ones, Ether Rocks and CryptoPunks. Ether Rocks is a series of 100 NFTs depicting images of rocks taken from royalty free clip art. Apart from differences in color, they are all the same. Yet these pictures from cartoon rocks, yes, rocks, were selling for over 100,000 in early August. By the end of the month, they were trading hands for millions of dollars. Claim to fame is because they were some of the first NFTs uh, printed back in 2017, and they were also inspired by the pet rock craze. With only 100 available, they became hot property. So Ether Rock 27 was purchased for 2.8 million for 888 Ether. Or just eight, just say 888 Ether, whatever it is. Remember, we don't think of cryptos in their US dollar equivalents is how much is in crypto because that those values can change over time, baby. So 888 ETH for this image of a rock that was royalty free and somebody just minted it up as a NFT four years ago. Crypto punks are still the gold standard in NFT ownership for now. For the same reason, their age. Punks have been around since 2017 and have retained their value. And just like with Bored Apes, a punk as your Twitter avatar is a status symbol to the point where punk owners can even rent out their avatars to others for social signaling, quote unquote. <laughs> Big brands are buying in. Visa and Budweiser are saying how they first they tried to make their own NFTs and nobody wanted. Now they're just buying. And uh, I said the other day, I can't remember how much ETH uh, Visa had paid, but it was um, 50 ETH for it. So at that time, it was 165000 but 50 ETH for their CryptoPunk. And Budweiser bought an NFT of its own last week. The giant beer changes Twitter profile to a sketch beer rocket NFT that it bought for 26000 about 80th. Fractionalized NFT. This is crazy. So the original picture of the Doge, uh, they took the Doge mean and made it an NFT. It sold, I want to say for, don't quote me on this, a, th half a million, like three, four million dollars, right? The person who bought it for three or four million dollars, the original Doge mean as an NFT, fractionalized it and created tokens of it and now the value the market capitalization so the, how much each token is worth for the number of tokens created for the fractionalized doge mean and i'll explain what that means in a second is like 400 million dollars so they took and you can do this because it's members all digital the nft of the doge mean bought that said this is mine and then cut it into let's just say 60,000 pieces and say, you can have you, and now it's called dog coin or something. You can have a piece of the fractionalized Doge coin original NFT. And it's now worth 400 million. Crazy. <laughs> but they think that may veer close to unregistered securities. Fractionalization enables more people to have a piece of the investment pie. However, companies offering fractionalized NFTs, any investors may not have realized the regulatory implications of doing so. So we'll see. In gaming NFT, NFTs, imagine you play a game, you earn a sword or you buy a sword as an NFT and then you can use it in multiple games. That is kind of what they're looking at in terms of the blockchain and NFTs. And we talked about Axie Infinity and its X shards, which... You know, 12 cents last November, 90 yesterday, 80 some dollars a day. You know, I wouldn't be mind with that $10 price swing from that at all. Players then earn crypto token rewards, which can be enough to fuel a living wage in some com countries. So just playing this game, you can earn enough to, you can, that could be a living. <laughs> just playing a game. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. Generative art blocks are using the blockchain itself to create artwork and then sell those NFTs. That's a whole other story. And loot. So two things I'm going to show you today. And loot. Loot is where somebody just created an NFT driven product. That's no artwork, no direction. They just created a bunch of quote unquote loot and dropped it as NFTs for, for, work, for the world. So 
Release these listen to the world for free as a prompt in late August, and the company has already responded by developing a wide array of tools, der derivative projects, guilds, and other initiatives to flesh out something more. Will it eventually be something akin to a fully fledged fantasy game, a decentralized intellectual property? It's too early to tell, but the crypto community is buzzing about the possibilities. Plus, the loot NFT lists are massively in demand. One sold for almost a million in ETH dollars, and there's already uh, almost $200 million worth of trading volume for the 88,000 NFTs. What do I want to show you what I'm doing today? I'm going to get into today. I have not bought any NFTs yet or gotten into it. I've just been looking at it on the outside because I've been always thinking I want to create some and sell it. But, you know, but I'm, I know now who I'm going to use to uh, use their artistic ability to generate them. But anyway. The loot guy who had, you know, they said they were selling them for, or they had 8,000 pieces. So what is loot? We're going to go through this super fast. Only 2,400 accounts managed to snag the original loot, an NFT collection of computer-generated text images that represent the treasures of a video game that haven't been invented yet. So that's what loot is. Treasures of a video game that haven't been invented yet. Now, and they had uh, 8,000, I think, those who have minute their loot free for a week before they was claim can resell the NFTs for a minimum of eight ETH now. And eight ETH to get you almost 24,000. So if you were one of the 2,400 that minute one of the, or some of the 8,000 pieces of loot, you could sell them for about 25,000 piece now. Dude just dropped 1.3 million pieces of loot out there now. And you can go and buy them today. And I think... To mint the loot, click here, enter a number over 8,000 to, to claim. And I think you can claim them for, I want to say, it was like 300 bucks, or is that something different? Service loot says the cover. Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I had this. I was reading this. It says people uh, created a little bit of domestic crazy. So they're going to create more to mint the loot. So you can, oh, you can mint loot and then put a number in and try to just mint it. It may not be a set price. They say if it's the gas fee is incredibly high, like over 25000 that loot has been claimed. So basically, you got to pick a number between 8,000 and the however many he minted was like 1.3. And if that person, no one has minted that piece of loot yet, then you probably can get it for whatever gas fee you can mint it at. Um, I, might, I may not be mistaken with that. But it's something... Right, the price of the I'm over the stress to So in other words, if this do blow up, and, it, and that's what I say, look at the time course. Even if, you know, now people are like, oh, now it was only 8,000, now it's going to be a million some pieces. Yeah, but think five years from now. This, you know, people may look at this like, oh, that was one of the, the second batch that came out, you know. So go and look for loot. Try to figure out, you know, you got to Google or YouTube how to mint your loot or try to claim a loot under claim and see if you can get you a piece of, of this in or get you an NFT from this game that hasn't been created yet. That's still out there for, and I would say for free, but a lot less than it could potentially be in the future. Along those same lines, the board, uh, board Ape Yacht Club artist is building a community of NFT vampires. So this guy is creating a sneaky vampire syndicate, which is kind of the same thing. It's going to be similar to these bored apes that people are buying. And so they got a Discord. They haven't started selling them yet. Oh, this is the ones that were 300 bucks. The vampire theme NFT project, would, which will let the public mint 8,888 NFTs within the, first, within the next few weeks for 0.08 ETH each, has already attracted over 12,000 followers on Discord. After it's fired up on Tuesday. So. I'm trying to see how do you. 
The sneaky vampire syndicate will select 400 people who have engaged with the project on Discord and Twitter for a pre-sale, allowing them to mint up to two vampire NFTs before launch. If the project takes off, several milestones. So the question is, you may want to just try to keep your eyes open, see if you can get in early on this sneaky vampire syndicate if you care about this, because, hey, it looks like these things are selling a bunch in the future. Ethereum. More Ethereum has been burned than minted in the past 24 hours. And so I, was, I told you I was going to talk about this, the ETH Burns website, which has showed how much ETH has been burned so far. 205,894 Ethereum or 800, okay, that went fast. 896 Ethereum has been burned so far. We're getting close to that billion, y'all. And this is how much in the last hour, 800 Ethereum. So re Ethereum, as opposed to Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a set limit of 21 million. There never be more uh, Bitcoin than that. Ethereum does not have a set limit. You can, <clears throat> more of it can be mined each year. But now with the new protocol in place, every interaction burns some Ethereum. And burning means send it to an address that no one has access to. So it was for all intents and purposes, never never to be seen or used again. Um, so, yet one of these days this week, it was the first day where the amount minted was less than the amount burned that day. So it started, they, there was more, less Ethereum in the world that day than the day before. And that was maybe one of the first times that that's happened. If not the first time that has happened. So this is going to place deflationary pressure on Ethereum, which should raise the price of Ethereum. I was saying I was bumping his head against 4,000, but that wouldn't be for long. And that's because of something like this. So we like the ETH burn if you hold ETH. And when I was just saying yesterday, um, or not yesterday, but the previous story to go out here and try to get you some of this loot or vampire nfts early so in a couple years from now you sitting on a good little investment notch that you can who cares about your twitter profile selling get some money off that crypto market grows 47 percent in 30 days adding 0 0.7 trillion of inflows and this is just saying that well we know that the crypto market has been booming it was up to two point Three trillion earlier. I don't know if it's still yet. Yeah, about two point oh two twenty nine now. So about ten tr ten billion off of where this was had uh, yesterday, and that's been it in the past. Previous thirty days is almost going up fifty percent. So the market is doing really well. Something to keep an eye on. And with that, I am going to go and try to figure out how to get me a piece of loot. So know that I love you. You love yourself, God loves us, and that's all that matters.